Happy boy. Yan. Trying to catch bugs for you. Boogie. <laughs> you mentioned in a video quite a while ago, Boogie's got a big old bump from allergies and we've been trying to get rid of it for months and months. The vet has given him multiple rounds of steroids, usually in decreasing intensity. Since steroids are really bad for Pokey, he has the eye conjunctivitis thing that acts up. We are giving him eye drops along with the steroids, but his bump doesn't get any smaller on the lower doses. So for like the past, I don't even know how long, we have been trying to figure out Pokey's allergies and reduce them. So we got air purifiers here. Here in the bedroom, we've got one upstairs in the office. We have our old air purifier that June luckily won at a home center random drawing right next to our cat litter room. We tried to keep Pokey away from outside so that he couldn't be exposed to any possible allergens outside. We put Pokey on allergy specific food for a really long time and it didn't seem to help. All of the vets that we've been to here in Japan have not recommended allergy tests for cats. They said it's not usually very helpful. Apparently there's like two types of things that allergy tests can test for. They do both in dog allergy tests, but in cats, they only do IgE. So the vet said like it could come back that everything is negative for him, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have allergies. But we got his test results back and Turns out it was very helpful. I'm really upset we didn't get this sooner. Here are Pokey's allergy results. Higher than 151 means he's very allergic to it. Pokey has over a thousand and close to a thousand in several types of dust mites, also in fleas. He's so freaking allergic to dust mites Pokey, my poor baby, this whole time he's been allergic to dust mites. Do you know how difficult it is to reduce dust mites? We took our Roomba upstairs so it could vacuum the carpet every single day. And then we got another type of Roomba here that can do mopping so we could make sure any possible allergens on the floor get picked up. Yeah, it's very gray. We've been walking on this. I wash all of our bed linens in 60 degrees Celsius water at least once a week. I've also washed every single cat bed multiple times. All of the throw blankets, every pillow in the house, anything that could fit in our laundry machine that was not even made of fabric. I hand back our sofa almost every day. We got dust mite sprays. We got dust mite desiccant pads to put in everything fabric in our house. We got the plastic dust mite protectors for on our mattresses and our duvets and our pillowcases. Our beds are like sleeping wrapped in plastic. I sweat so much at night now. They also only ever eat out of a bowl once before we put it in the dishwasher. We clean their food containers every time they empty. The year before we moved here, June, do you remember how many surgeries he got to remove tumors? Like at least three or something? I don't even remember. More than anything else, I just feel so bad for him. He has all of these allergies to dust mites and I don't know where they're hiding. I've cleaned so much, I don't know what else to do. Keeps throwing up on this house every morning. Well, that's because he gets hungry and he eats plants. Makes me clean the floor. He keeps this house clean <laughs> yeah. by making us clean. <laughs> Look at this guy. He keeps eating floor on the yeah. floor. Yeah, Nagi just eats. If he finds something before we one of our Roombas to, can get to it. We just have to keep this house clean <laughs> every single morning thanks to these guys, especially Pokey. I'm also going to give Pokey and Peachy baths. That said, that would help a little. It's been a really long time since either of them have had a bath. All right. I also thoroughly vacuumed out all of their cardboard stuff and replaced some of the old ones. This is not related to mites, but I thought our cats should get something fun too. Maybe I just have to sprinkle some kind of on Okay. Oh, there you go. Haku, no, he's... <laughs> he, he put his entire mouth around it. I actually want him to brush his teeth, too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good, good, see. good. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you see 
see how hard that he's pushing into it? His paws are literally sliding. Ooh. It's working well. <laughs> oh. Why are you fighting? <laughs> Clearly hard. Maggie, why are you being so aggressive? I'm glad you guys like it. I will do anything for you, Pokey, but we are especially grateful for today's sponsorship from Sakurako. Sakurako is a monthly Japanese snack box subscription service. You get 20 snack items in each box. Every month the theme is different. This one is Taste of Japan. These are really cute. Look. Oh, sushi, nice. Sushi candy. There's also a tableware item every month. What's that? This is very heavy. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a little box. It's your first box from Sakuraoko. There are three different side dishes you can get. We got the one meaning fortune. You get tea in every box. This one is sencha, very traditional green tea. What's this? This looks really good. Starting as far back as the 8th century. 8th century, June? What's the... Is, oh, I was gonna say ginger. It's sweet, but it also has ginger and sesame. Is this what they were eating in the 8th century? June, that kind of blows my mind. If it says so, I think so. It's really crazy to think about eating something that people could have eaten 1,200 years ago. I feel like I'm experiencing the past. That's really cool. It's like such a unique flavor combination. I like it. It goes over tea. I think this yatsuhashi type of snack also tastes similar. I think this is also ancient snacks like from Kyoto or something. Really? Yeah. Rice flour carefully kneaded and mixed with sugary cinnamon powder and sesame seeds. Mm. Tastes very similar. Mm. This is so good. It's really, really cinnamony. Here. Cinnamon? Do they use cinnamon? Very cinnamon. Mm. That's delicious. I feel like I'm experiencing old Japan with this box and like old flavors and it's just really cool. If you guys are interested in trying a taste of Japan from the comfort of your own home, you can get $5 off your first box using our code and link in the description box. Thank you so much to Sakurako for sponsoring our video and thank for all of our Expensive pokey allergy. <laughs> now time for baths. Luckily, the two kitties I want are already in here. Oh, look at Taco too. Okay. He's in the tower. We got for free from friends' friends. Pokey's nails were very scratchy on my stomach this morning in bed. He likes to sleep pushing his paws against my stomach, which is really annoying <laughs> and not at all comfortable. Oh no. Why don't you bring Pokey next to her and then... <laughs> Baby! Pokey's checking up on her? Yeah. Just like Haku does? Okay. Oh, Pokey, make her feel bad and comfortable. Proud of you. That's a huge progress. Now you can just grab her like that. I know. Whoa. So tiny. She's such a tiny little baby. I didn't expect you to be able to do this. Clipping her nail? What? She slept in bed with us a few times this winter. 
Yep. Poor little black beans. Did you all over little beans? Good girl. Since we caught her, I've only given her one bath because I didn't want to stress her out. But she has a ton of dead skin in her fur and I want to make sure she is not hosting a bunch of mites that are contributing to Pokey's allergies. This is her peachy because she's been such a good girl. Whoopsies. There you go. Hey, this was her peachy. Pokey, what happened to being gentlemen? So we have five different cat shampoos. This one was left to us by one of our friends. They're all delicate. Mm -hmm. This comes with the foam. Yeah, this one specifically is for skin. So I'm gonna use this one, especially for PG. Mm. And then this one specifically says for around the face. Yep. <sighs> Neither of you guys are gonna like this. Okay, come on. Oh, okay, bulky. I know, buddy. Exactly the same, even when he gets wet. <laughs> he does look the same. <laughs> okay. Do you want to wash him? Oh, Pokey's done. Oh, oh no. <laughs> June is gonna dry Pokey. I'm gonna go wash Peachy. She's out. I'm gonna start drying her. Good girl. Stay still. Alright, Peach is done. There you go. Let's go. Pokey's over there. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Hey, Aku. You can do it, Pokey. Pokey's over there. Pokey! Oh. Oh. She smells different. <laughs> Nagi, she's busy. I guess you're busy too. Here you go. You did a great job. Yes. Please, here you go. I was worried she would never want to be around me again, but she climbed right onto my lap. I think it's because she's cold. Oh, oh. She's just gonna. There you go. She's purring. So, we unexpectedly got another free cat treat from someone leaving the city. Yay! <laughs> okay. You wanna try the new cat treat? Ho ho. Ho. Art cat. Well, okay. <laughs> Cats will cat their way around situations. <laughs> Taco going all the way to the top. How much have you eaten today? You ate so much today already. I gave you extra food. And our friends gave you extra food. <laughs> 